You are the chapter author of uh, the Port Expo Exponential Climate Action Roadmap. Uh, can you shortly just tell us about your chapter in this? Yeah, and maybe I can just first describe what the Exponential Climate Action Roadmap is, yeah. because I don't know, most people probably know. So Exponential Climate Action Roadmap started from a, a well-known climate paper, a scientific paper, which uh, describes a concept called carbon law, which says that we need to uh, reduce carbon emissions by half uh, by 2030, then again by half by 2040, and then again by 2050. And this uh, roadmap project, which uh, uh, gathered uh, organizations like Future Earth, Stockholm Resilience Center, uh, Mission 2020, uh, WWF, and uh, Ericsson, which I come from as, as a re uh, company pa partner. Uh, uh, was uh, founded to, to explore if uh, this halving by 2030 was possible. Um, and indeed we found that uh, there are solutions, there are uh, around 30 of them that can be used to halve carbon emissions globally by uh, 2030. Uh, but we need to scale um, policy, financing and, and uh, leadership uh, to achieve this. And we also see uh, digital um, technologies as a strong force to help us. Uh, and going into to the chapter where I were in, was mainly involved, so uh, one part was, was the policy chapter, So and, and the, I, I come from the digital industries, from, from Ericsson as a telecom provider, and uh, you often as a company you see these kind of reports that uh, report about the potential of, of the solutions of the technology, but you seldom put it into a wider frame, uh, socio-technical regime. So it was very important for us to have this wide perspective here. Um, and then we were also, of course, involved in the digital uh, um, industry chapter, uh, because we have uh, done research on the footprint of uh, our technology and also of the enablement potential. And, so, and what is your, the, f the footprint of your technology? What have yeah, you so, so um, we have been doing research based on life cycle assessment in this area for, for, for some 20 years as a team. And uh, uh, if you look at the overall ICT uh, industry, if you take all uh, networks, uh, if you take all data centers and you take all devices that you use, like a smartphone, laptops and so forth, globally, we see uh, based on life cycle assessment studies and based on data directly from telecom operators and um, also market statistics, we can see that the overall footprint is 1.4% uh, of overall global emissions. And that level has been flat uh, between 2010 and 2015, while the data uh, uh, traffic ha has grown exponentially. So it's fairly small, but still it's our responsibility, those emissions. And then we have also other studies that shows that we could enable um, emission reductions in other sectors by uh, around 15% already with today's technology and that is expected to grow when you get AI, uh, 5G, uh, IoT and so forth. Uh, you've been participating to this conference today. Yes. Uh, how would you summarize today? Mm, inspiring, I think. And it also shows uh, I mean, I, I come from an industry where, where, which is sort of based on collaborations because uh, telecom systems, that's uh, probably the world's most complex machine. And the challenge we are meeting now with the cri climate crisis, it's a huge challenge and it's also, it adds another layer of com complexity. And uh, what you learn when you work with complex system is really that you need uh, a wide range of competences and you need them to work together and I think this conference has really showed uh, the variety of perspectives and the uh, people coming from different angles into this and really having the commitment to, to do something about the climate so I think that's very inspiring to me. Uh, how do you think we should tackle the climate crisis and turn it around? 
Yeah, I mean, obviously, we. I, I, I think to me, having this, uh, <laughs> I, I happen to have it, uh, having this uh, kind of work like the Exponential Climate Action Roadmap that really shows us which are the solutions that we need to, to, to use and uh, at what scale. Uh, I think that's a very good good starting point because there are things in, in each uh, sector. Uh, I mean, if you take, for instance, food, we know, know that we need to, to cut down on meat. We should eat more plant-rich diet. We need that we <laughs> know that we need to reduce food waste. I mean, that, that these are very basic uh, things. And we also know that we would probably be much healthier. So. It, it comes with the positive side effects. Then for, for uh, other sectors like uh, um, transport, we know that the electrification is very important. And uh, we can also see that here, I, I mean, as I come from, from, from a, a company working on, on, on the digital enablement, uh, we know that uh, uh, for, for the future, uh, we, we also see that there will probably be a, a change towards autonomous uh, vehicles and uh, we are working with, with a small startup uh, called Inride and they are making these kind of pods for transports uh, and uh, these are going to be autonomous and uh, uh, for them to be that they would rely on very safe uh, data connections and that is wh where we come in as we build these 5G systems. So, so we see that um, things uh, go together, but th there are, are solutions in a, every sector which are quite basic, uh, really, because they rely on today's technology already, thankfully, because that means that we can sky scale them widely. So we need to, to push our politicians to do that, and we need to, to uh, make aware uh, consumption behaviors, uh, consumption choices, really. Uh, and finally, what do you think about this uh, initiative that uh, we don't have time is doing right now with the social network? Yeah, I think it's very important to, to uh, as I said, to, to, to get together and they, we, we are stronger together. So, so uh, to build momentum is very important uh, and, to, and to scale. And uh, I, I like very much this thing of having um, people putting their ideas online and then others can, can accelerate them and emphasize them and, and make them grow. So, uh, yeah, I, I think it, can, it will be very interesting to follow what, what happens moving forward. Mm -hmm.